My name is Sidney Finkelstein, a professor at the Tuck School of Business at Dartmouth College. Over the last 20 years, I've been studying what goes wrong in organizations, failure, mistakes. I've written a book called Why Smart Executives Fail and other books like Why Good Leaders Can't Make Good Decisions. And so each year I put together, at the end of the year, my list of the worst CEOs of the year. It's based on my own and my team's analysis of not just financial metrics, but also the strategic decisions that were made or maybe not made as well. In addition, corporate governance and overall analysis of how the company is going and how well position, positioned it is moving into the future. And here's my list. Number five, uh, Steve Ballmer, the CEO of Microsoft. And it sure sounds like a controversial pick because, you know, this is a company that's going to make $20 billion this year. But if you look at Steve Ballmer's tenure and compare what he has done to the, for the company as compared to what Bill Gates left him with, uh, it actually becomes a lot less impressive. In fact, then as now, almost all of the revenue and profitability of the company comes from uh, Microsoft Office and it comes from Windows, both of which Bill Gates created. Uh, pretty much uh, Steve Ballmer has, has, been, a, has been a caretaker. Uh, and uh, uh, when you have a monopoly position like that, uh, overwhelming ability to generate cash year after year, you would think you'd be able to go into a lot of new markets, uh, expand the business. But uh, if you look at what's happened since uh, 2000 when Ballmer started, uh, you have Google, you have Facebook. In China, you have Tencent and, and Alibaba. Uh, you have company after company that have really taken the throne away from Microsoft in all of these new emerging areas. I mean, if you think about music, you, uh, Microsoft comes up with Zune uh, when um, Apple uh, has iPod uh, a little bit late and not nearly good enough. Um, if you think about uh, search, uh, Microsoft comes out with Bing, but of course you have Google search and once again late to the party and not nearly as, uh, as successful as, uh, as the original could be, uh, as the original was. And I think the pattern that you see in each of these instances is a company that, uh, and a CEO that figures we got a lot of resources, let's throw everything at it, let's keep going after everyone and try to figure it out as we're going along, which works if you got a monopoly position but doesn't work at all in all these new emerging markets.